In this video, we're going to go over symbolic interactionism. Symbolic interactionism is a micro-sociological theory that focuses on social interactions using symbols. Since this is a micro-sociological theory, it's going to focus on the interactions between individuals. For an exam, you want to be able to associate the name George Herbert Mead with symbolic interactionism. Mead is considered one of the founders of symbolic interactionism. Symbolic interactionism has three premises. First, human actions toward things depend on the meanings they have for those things. Second, humans give meanings to things based on social interactions with others in society. And third, the meaning of things is not permanent and can be modified during interactions with others. To illustrate how these premises work, let's take a look at some examples. First, we can consider a handshake. Uh, an example of a handshake would be if you are interviewing for a job. So it is customary that when you go to an interview, you're going to start off by shaking the interviewer's hands. And at the end of the interviewer, he will also shake hands again. So in this case, the handshake does have a meaning. It shows that you are being polite. You are showing respect. So it's something that you as the interviewee know that you should do. And it's also something that the interviewer is thinking about. Is this person polite? Are they making the effort to shake my hand? So in that case, you have a situation where the handshake has a shared meaning between those two individuals. However, symbolic interactionism doesn't mean that the two individuals have to have the same meaning for the same interaction. For example, you can consider another situation where someone is on their front lawn and they are cleaning or maybe doing some work on their garden. So their hands are a bit dirty someone walks by and introduces themselves. And even though the person working in the garden has dirty hands, they are going to go ahead and offer to shake the other person's hand. So they shake hands. To the person that is offering to shake their hand, they may be aware that their hand is dirty, but they feel that it is important to shake hands because shaking hands is a gesture of politeness. To the other person, they might look at their hands and think, wow, your hands are so dirty. You want to shake your hands with me? And in that case, that person would you know, view that handshake as negatively. This person is trying to spread their germs to me. So sort of give me an idea that the interaction does not have to have the same meaning for both individuals that are interacting with each other. Another example we can consider are books. So the way we interact with different objects also depends on the meanings we have for them. So you can see in one case, some kids are very much enjoying the process of reading books. It is something pleasurable that they're doing with their friends and siblings. But in school, college students might not have the same positive feeling with books. Books is something that they have to read, something they have to study. So they're reading them, but not treating them the same way as the children are in this diagram. And the, both of these, of course, are things that are learned from societal interactions. So the college student has learned that if they want to do well in school, it's important for them to study and read those books. And they've been told by their professors to read their books. And they also see their peers that are doing well in the exams read their books. The last thing, of course, is you can see this transition that someone can really enjoy reading books for pleasure when they're young. And perhaps when they get to college, they only read textbooks and they really hate it. So the meaning of books to a person can change over time and depending on different experiences and interactions. Okay, so that's symbolic interactionism.